Hello and welcome to TFA Analysis. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. The conflict in Ukraine has exposed nearly all the world leaders, the United States of America, European Union, and many other countries. And it has exposed how weak, wicked, and selfish these people are. The world in Ukraine has also exposed in NATO how weak and wicked this organization is. Uh, we, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to analyze all these things because these problems in Ukraine was to be prevented. The world powers was to come in to prevent this thing from happening. But when it all started, when the president of Russia was threatening to attack or to invade Ukraine, all these world leaders were coming in with support. And then we all knew, I was, I believe, and that they were coming in with military support, to support the military. Even the president of Ukraine, from his expression, his expression showed that he was expecting military support. That NATO will come in, United States of America will come in, and other countries will come in to support the military. And that is what they were talking about. But when all three things started, they never show up militarily. And then this problem was to be prevented because when I came across in the, in the visit of the Prime Minister of Israel to Russia yesterday uh, and then also with the, when Donald Trump was interviewed, I came to discover that there was a way to prevent this thing from happening by coming and creating a cordial relationship with the President of Ukraine as Donald Trump did in his own term of office. He prevented all from happening by creating cordial relationship with you, with Russia, by creating cordial relationship with North Korea, and by making those people we believe in the world that they are so frightful, they are so terrible, they are so aggressive, they are also oppressor, they are so wicked, they are warmonger, to make them his friend. And that succeeded. And then the, the, the president, the, the prime minister of, of Israel went there yesterday, and we saw her happy. This man welcomed him, meaning this man is having something within him that he wished people to listen to him. And then if at the beginning when he was doing the threat against Ukraine, if world power could have come in, talk with him, visit him and discuss with him, I could I believe there could have been way there to stop this thing from happening. But now it is happening. When if you, all the threats were coming, all these nations were giving up and threatening if you attack Ukraine. We are going to fight back. But when he has attacked Ukraine, and then all these people stay behind, that shows how weak they are. This also exposed the world power, United Nations, all the big leaders in the world, Britain, Germany, and the United Nations organization, that they have nothing, no wisdom. That they don't know how to set a problem, how to prevent problems. Because they spend their time solving a problems in not to solving problems that have occurred. They don't spend their resources time to prevent it from happening. And that is what we are seeing in the world today. And that is what I describe, describe them as weak. How wicked I am talking about, how wicked NATO is. We are all aware that uh, 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 Ukraine or Russia attack Ukraine because of their intention to join NATO. And if they attack Ukraine because of their intention to join NATO, and then NATO now, somebody is fighting me because of you. You refuse to come in. And NATO just recently, like yesterday, it talked about they are not part of the war. They are not fighting with Russia. They will not do it. So they have declared totally that they cannot support uh, Ukraine. It is not part of them. Knowing where fully are these people, the immediate cause of Russia in invading Ukraine is the, is the desire of the of Ukraine to join NATO and then NATO have abandoned how wicked and selfish these people are and that is what I'm coming in into this if you are organizing you know, eight things knowing where for it that you cannot stand for in, 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 in Ukraine opted to join NATO and then in the process of that of that of his the, in the process of his admission its admission into NATO this person has been attacked, then you people refuse that you don't know him. You would have nothing to do with the, the country. And then I'm also here talking about the failure 
of the United Nations Organization. The United Nations Organization was created in 1945 to maintain peace, international peace and security. But the United Nations has failed in this aspect. The United Nations has been spending its time and everything resources to, uh, to help people who are in need. To, who are in need is not doing anything to prevent a, a, a war, to prevent conflicts from happening. This is what is happening in our country. And this is what is happening here. When this incident, I was expecting the, president, the, the Secretary General of the United Nations to go to Russia and talk with this, this with Putin in order to stop. See, but he remained in, in isolation far away. And when Russia started, he condemned it. And that is all we are hearing from an organization that was created to maintain international peace and security. That is what we are hearing from. The failure of the United Nations is fully responsible for all political instability, all the things happening all over the world today. And we are calling on everybody to look up to if there is a way all nations can dissolve that organization called the United Nations because it has failed in all aspects of life. It's supposed to be preventing a, a, a war, conflict from happening, but you spend its time operating as a non as a non governmental organization, operating as a humanitarian organization, supplying food to refugees. You do not ask question where are the refugees coming from? Tackle to solve the problems of refugees, to solve the problems going on in all other countries that are causing people to become refugees, and you will stop spending money on food and water. The other things I want to talk about concerning this issue is for all the nations that are trusting on international community like United Nations Organization, a, 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 a European Unions, and all United States of America to stop because these people have shown to everybody that they are not trustworthy. Like many people are organizing rebel groups, organizing terrible things against other nations, their own nation, in order to take over a power believing that when things will happen, United Nations will come in, United States of America will come in, European Union will come in, they will not come in. They have demonstrated it with the issue with Ukraine. They all stand in their distance. And the people of Ukraine, they are dying, they are suffering, the city is being deserted, and nothing is happening. They are far away. That if you are in any way organizing rebel groups, to take over, believing that you are going to fight and this powerful, this nation will come in your support. You are a failure. You have to stop it because they will never come in. They are doing everything for their selfish desire. We have seen the sanction given on to Russia. It is for the benefit of the European Union, the benefit of United Nations Organization, the benefit of the United States of America. Because oil prices have now increased have increased and who will benefit united states of america will benefit because they are the first oil country with crude oil they will not increase and they will benefit a lot from all these things why people are suffering so all the sanctions they have given they target it and they selected those sanctions it, 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 it technically for their own benefit and it is time for us to stand for peace and it is not yet late all of you can join hands together, visit the president of Russia, talk with him physically, advise him and discuss for peace. Don't sanction him, don't put it in the distance, because putting him far away from you will cost a lot. And he will not stop with Ukraine, he will continue and continue and continue. Sanction can never hurt, because in 2014 this very thing happened. He was sanctioned, he went through with his plan, succeeded to take part. A, a, a criminal. He took it away and survived the sanction and he will still and can still take Russia and will still survive. He can still take Ukraine and will still survive the sanction you people have imposed on him. Because many people need Russia in the world. Many people need the oil. Many people need a lot from this country and many people will go in for. So I'm congratulating the, the Prime Minister of Israel for going directly to talk with this man. I'm congratulating the president of Turkey for calling and discussing with him and preaching peace, no sanction.